It's the year 2777. You find yourself locked in a cryogenic pod, barely waking up from your slumber. While still in a mostly frozen state, you ask the doctor next to you, Is, is it out yet? The doctor, visibly confused, responds with, What? C Cyberpunk? 2077. <laughs> no, they've decided to delay the game another month. Sorry, mate. Laughed off the doctor. Uh, I see. Please put me to sleep for another decade. The doctor, shocked at your response as you've been sleeping for over 700 years, replies with, Why? We just took you out. And you reply with the most defeated response ever, Just do it. You simply wouldn't understand. <laughs> okay, so CD Projekt Red just came out yesterday and said, Okay, boys, I'm going to be honest with you. You got me. We never made Cyberpunk 2077. We just wanted to hang out with Keanu Reeves. What started off as an April Fool's joke has now turned into reality. And now we have to make the game before we get sued. And before we get started, ladies and gentlemen, hit the subscribe button and don't forget to ring my notification bell, baby. Now, all of this hype and quote polish only to start the game and see your character glitch through the map and die over and over again. Again. This is just a heartless reminder that we're still in 2020. Hold on, let me guess. The dog ate CD Projekt Red's homework. I don't know about anyone else, but this yellow background right here is starting to give me PTSD. They said in this message, please accept our humble apologies. Nope. No, nada, not this time. I'm here to tell you that all of you at home won't be playing this on Christmas either. When December 9th rolls around and it's almost midnight, CD Projekt Red will come out with another yellow background message. Hello everyone, we've decided to move the release date of Cyberpunk 2077 to late August 2077. We did this because we as a team feel it would be more immersive playing in the same year the game takes place. Just trust us good Polish boys, we will do right by you, we won't let you down. Okay, joking aside, I love CD Projekt Red, but if this was literally any other company, most people would be getting their dirty knickers in a twist. And for good reason, because this displays absolute incompetence from their management team. My disappointment is immeasurable and my November is ruined. When Cyberpunk 2077 finally comes out, the story is going to take place in the distant past, in which my unborn kids are getting ready to leave university. Does CDPR stand for constantly delaying projects regularly? Because this is getting old. Really quick, as someone who defended CD Projekt Red with the whole Captain Crunch fiasco, there is no excuse for this. I'm actually somewhat conflicted on this, and I know that's the first time ever on this channel. Your boy Manix being conflicted, that is unprecedented, but I'm torn because on one hand, I would rather have a delayed game than a bad game. However, I think No Man's Sky is a slight exception though on the part of it being bad forever. But on the other hand, I absolutely despise liars because it was just 24 hours ago when they gave a full confirmation that Cyberpunk 2077 would be coming out on the 19th of November. So either they're total liars or just plain incompetent. And now that I think about it, three weeks is a millisecond in video game development. You've got to really ask yourself, yes, you sitting down watching this video. What was so bad that they had to delay it last minute even after dropping so much money into advertising? The only thing I can think of, it had to either brick the console completely or at the very least run at 15 frames per second, which makes me think it will get delayed again until next year. Whenever it does come out though, it better be so refined, so elegant, so sophisticated that it never needs another update again. But any glitch, any whiff of it being broken will piss off some of the buyers twice as much. But the thing is, this isn't gonna change a f thing now is it? We are still gonna be playing it day one. We're still gonna be blasting Blade Runner music while we're driving through Night City. And on that bombshell, thank you all for watching Manix out.